Alright, hey, what's up, everyone? It's Luke Aero, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a piston password door. Or not necessarily even piston, you can just have an iron door, but it would work as you put in a two digit password, and it just opens up. And both of the one and three both have to be down, or it can be whatever um, numbers you want. So I'm just going to be making another one over here. Okay, so I'll just make them with piston doors. Okay, um, okay, so let's just start. So this is just going to be the wall where I keep all the buttons on. So you make sure they're separated and I'm just gonna do five right there. Okay? And you can go ahead oh that that's okay. You need to number them so if you want to I guess you don't have to. Okay. And you're just gonna need to Let's just go around to the back. And f on every switch, you're going to need a back piece. See? Okay. And we'll start doing the redstone once I hook up the doors real quick. Okay, so the doors are going to be right here. Okay. So the door will close like so. Actually. I need to move this over. Okay, so that will be the doorway right here. So let's just do a simple hookup right here. And do that wrong. Okay, so actually this is bad. Yeah, it's too close to all of these ones where there there's going to be redstone on those. So let's just move this over. Um, yep. One sec. Okay, so you're actually going to need to... I don't know. So there's the door. Actually, okay, there we go. That took a while, but okay then. So this is gonna be the door. So let's just hook this up like a normal piston door would. Okay, so that's how it would be, see? Like that, but now we're gonna have it hooked into these. So let's just choose a password. Let's do two, two, four, or four, two, it doesn't really matter. So put redstone on the ones that you want on the back see so two and four and then right on the back they each have redstone so then you have to make an and gate which will which looks like this you do three three blocks in the middle you have a redstone output and two inputs okay so like that if you need that to do that I mean you need to yes so okay and then they connect on the side you have to come around so it's pointing right at the side so you have to go out a little bit. Okay? So there it goes. And then this will connect over to that door. So what we have to do is actually go under. Like that. Okay. So that should... Oh yeah, and I forgot. You, for this line right here that connects from the output to the door, it needs to be transferred and converted. So let me just actually do that out of ground. So actually I can't. So but here's what it would look like. You would have to do this. So here's the line from whatever the output whatever into the door. You have to put a block down facing towards where the door would be. Redstone torch and then this again. So then as you can see it just inverts it. So you need to do that for the door. OK. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna do it right in here. Boop. Bam. Bam. And that actually doesn't work. Let me move that back one more. Okay. Okay, and boom. Okay, so that should work right there, actually. So as you can see, this doesn't do anything. Four doesn't do anything. You have to do four and two. And the door opens. It's really simple. Okay, so I recommend you try this out. And this is a big wide version. I have a more compact one right here. You can see it's really nice and snug, so it's nice. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'm coming out with more redstone tutorials. I, I'm getting into redstone right now. It's really fun, so yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.